Here in the North Woods of Wisconsin, a job in a paper mill is about as good as it gets. But for 45-year-old Frank Kovac, this was his second choice. His first was to be an astrophysicist. As a little kid, he dreamed of exploring outer space. Later, when he couldn't cut the college math, he gave up the degree, but never the dream. And for the past 15 years, has been charting his own course for the stars. The neighbors thought I lost my mind. There was a huge sphere covered up by a tarp. Day and night, he was working on it all the time. Just unbelievable, you know. Robert Briggs is town chairman of Monaco, Wisconsin, the town where Frank launched his space program. Monaco has a three-pump gas station, a two-bit bar, and now, thanks to Frank, one remote planetarium. This is the most remote planetarium in the world. Frank basically built it in his backyard. To be a planetarium director, you need college, but if you build your own, you can run it. <laughs> yes. Frank still works part-time at the paper mill, but this is now his full-time passion. He opened a few years ago, although, so far, business has been far from stellar. How long since somebody's been here? It's been about three days. Needless to say, visitors can usually okay. get right in. Well, I'd like to welcome all of you to the Kovac Planetarium. Well, it's just me. You don't have to say all of you. Okay. So, well, my name is Frank Kovac, and I designed and built the world's largest rolling mechanical glow planetarium. The because Frank couldn't afford a fancy projection pounds. system to mimic yeah, the revolution of our planet, Whoa. he came up with a way to move the heavens instead. And as for the individual stars... I took a luminous paint, and I painted every single star that you would see out in the night sky. Wait, 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 wait. You painted yes. by yourself every star? Like a friend told me, he would have just took the paint and threw it up there and hoped they hit the right area. There are 5,000, each in its proper location and brightness. I never knew it would look this neat. It's really a shame more people haven't seen it. But friends and neighbors are confident that will change. Why? They say it's in the stars. People who send out good receive good. Frank is a good man. I heard that well, a lot. Is Frank is probably one of the nicest guys you'll ever want to meet. Frank is obviously genuine. And if sincerity sold tickets, or optimism was a sight you could see, he'd have the next Disneyland. It's going to just take off like a rocket to the stars. <laughs> Steve Hartman, CBS News, Monaco, Wisconsin.